Hi, welcome back. I'm Andrew Jean, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your oven racks with Easy Off Oven Cleaner. In fact, I have a whole video dedicated to cleaning oven racks that I will have linked in the description box below. But in that video, it took a lot more time and it involved detergent and a bathtub. So let's see if we can make this even quicker lickety split because as you know, this channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women. So if I can save you some time and money, I am all about that. All right, if you're new, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Let's get in close so you can really see what we're working with on these oven racks. It's been about six months since I've cleaned them. Okay, we're getting in real close on these oven racks so that you can see the buildup that is on them. Look at that. And they're just looking pretty dingy, dirty. We're gonna see if we can get all of this off. Super easy, super quick, and I'm actually gonna time it using the method with the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Let's get in a little bit more so you can see. Oh yeah, we're really gonna see if we can get all of that off, make them look like shiny and new, which would be really nice. So as far as this easy off oven cleaner goes, there are two methods here. You can use it for deep cleaning or you could do a daily spot cleaning. If you do the deep cleaning, um, this is usually intended for your oven, um, the oven doors, broiler pans, and stainless steel surfaces. We're gonna try them on the oven racks and see how it goes. Um, but for the deep cleaning, you got to leave it on there for two hours and mom ain't got time for that. If you do spot cleaning, it says allow it to stand for 30 seconds to one minute. And that's what we're going to do here today. If you're curious on the particular easy off that I'm using, it says fume free and it is pretty fume free when I have used it to clean my oven. And then I just have the lemon scent here. I'm really lucky because I have my husband's help to hold the camera. You can see we got lots of snow here in Wisconsin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray them down real good. And you can see when I spray it, it leaves this nice white coat that shows you that you sprayed it good. Got some snow on there, that's all right. It's all part of the experience. Now, if you are interested in some additional cleaning videos, I have a ton of specialized one. I have one on how to clean a mattress. I have one on the best way to put on a duvet cover, how to clean your shower, how to clean grout in your kitchen. So I'm gonna have those linked um, in the description box as well. Oh, this actually smells really good. Let's go over here a second. Put this down. It's starting to come off already. You can kind of see the brown. All right, make sure I got both sides here. That is pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the next one. Go the opposite way of the wind here. Ooh, it is cold outside. Let me know in the comment section, where are you watching from? You could do this in your bathtub if you wanted to. I just thought it'd be easy just outside my kitchen to do this. Awesome, and then we'll do the other side. All right, so actually what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes, excuse me, 30 seconds. We don't got 30 minutes, we got 30 seconds to one minute. We're gonna bring them inside and then I'm gonna clean them all up. I'm actually gonna time the cleaning process so I can give you an idea of how long this actually takes overall. We are back in my kitchen. The product has been sitting for about a minute or so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some hot water from the sink. I'm gonna use this little scrub pad thing here. And I'm gonna set my timer on my phone to see how long this actually takes. Let's do it.
Now I'm just gonna go ahead and dry them up and we'll see what we're working with. That's how long I scrubbed the racks for, so just under six minutes, but I wanna show you this. As I was wiping off the racks, look at all of this. So I could go in with another coat if I wanted to, just wiping them down. Um, I did like using this scrub pad here. It was really nice to easily get inside in between um, the oven racks, so I would recommend this. All right, let's see. Now there's definitely still spots on here, and I'm wondering if those would even come off. I'm just gonna use my nail. So they do. They are shinier for sure, and there is a lot less gunk caked on them. Let's see now if I just really got in here with my scrub pad. Some of these spots I think are just gonna have to stay, like that one you see there. And some, if you get in there really close, kind of tricky doing this one-handed. I mean, it definitely comes off pretty good. It just depends upon how detailed you wanna be when you do this. For me, if it looks good to the eye, I am just fine with that. I don't have whole days to spend on cleaning oven racks. Let's just try this little part here. Again, I'm just using my thumb and it's coming off really well. So if you're just wanting to do like a quick clean, I would definitely recommend this as a spot cleaner. If you're really wanting to get in there and scrub, I still would recommend this product. I think it did a really nice job. Um, I have used it in my oven before and I liked it for that too. So I thought, hey, let's just try the oven racks um, and see. But as you can tell, it's still getting a bunch of dirt off which is really nice. In fact, when I was spraying it outside, you could start to just see it melting off the grease that was stuck in on there. Um, up here looks a lot better. So it depends upon where on the oven rack. Let me flip you around here. So the moment of truth, would I recommend this easy off oven cleaner for cleaning your oven racks? Yeah, I absolutely would. It's really up to you in terms of how much sort of elbow grease that you wanna put into it, but you could just see the gunk melting off it. So if you're just wanting to do like a really quick spot clean, and I would say I did this in under 10 minutes. Um, again, you could do this in your bathtub. You could probably spray it here in your sink if you wanted to, or take it outside or in your driveway or that sort of thing if you don't wanna have any sort of cleanup to do. That's my method to do it. The less, the better. So give this a try if you've not tried it before and give it a whirl with your oven racks and let me know what you think. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.